welcome to the Mongolian Viking. In this episode, I'm going out on the, what I would say is the most beautiful drive in all of Mongolia, the road between uh, Hovd and Bainulgi. I've just been to Hovd for a couple of meetings. Uh, this episode, it's not gonna be uh, much going outside, taking photos or stuff like that. It's gonna be uh, basically a language or commercial driving through Mo Mongolia. Please enjoy. Finally onto the road by, built by the Chinese. Quite a bit better than the older roads that were built by Mongolians. Yeah, I now have about uh, 220 kilometers of yeah, varying and very beautiful landscape. Start off with what is clearly a desert with a river running through it. And then we'll move up into the mountains before we uh, come by some beautiful lakes and uh, other good spots. Of course, it would have been better if it was uh, late uh, evening and you get the golden hour and all of that here. Uh, we have some clouds, so the light won't be too harsh, I hope. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get some great shots with the drone, maybe with my camera. It's a bit traffic at this road, so I'm not uh, too keen on putting my R5 on a tripod and drive away to uh, uh, get uh, shots of the car coming back and forth, like I've done other places. Because it seems to be a rule here that if something is left by the roadside, it's uh, free to use for everyone. Or to take. One thing I absolutely love about Mongolia, it's the subtle changes. You're driving through the landscape and suddenly it's completely different. You haven't noticed it, but uh, ever so slowly it changes. And then you have something completely different. Of course, a lot of it is 50 shades of brown. In the north you have some trees and some grass, uh, but still coming from Norway to, uh, on the west coast, we have a thousand, two thousand millimeters of rain every year. To see this, to see a desert and the beauty of um, desolation, I would say. Uh, you, you should really come here to experience it. It is something else. You can see the sheep and goats here in the middle of the desert. If they don't eat uh, sand and gravel, I have no idea what they survive on. Because it's simply dead. As I said, it's desolate out here. Yeah, now we started driving up into the mountains or to a valley leading up over a pass in the mountains here. We'll go about up until about uh, 3000 meters. And then we'll pass a mountain, Samagara, that's over 4,000 meters. And that's a lot of snow leopards. So it would be exciting to see one there, but we won't get close enough to actually see something or have a real chance of doing it. Mm, yeah. And you can see before the asphalt road came, there was a lot of buildings here where they, um, you could call it restaurants. They sold uh, food for the travelers because then the road with uh, public transportation, 200 kilometers, usually took uh, 10 to 14 hours, depending on conditions and driver and how many flat tires you had. I heard one story about the Russian van uh, going up here. 
with 34 persons in one van. So that's fun, I guess. Yeah, the sun set now uh, a couple of minutes ago and we are uh, closing up on Olge. Just need to get through the toll road here and then that's about it. Uh, so we timed it rather perfect to get the best lighting at the end of the trip. I didn't think that would happen, but that's how it is. Uh, so now I have to pay the toll of a thousand Tugruk, which is uh, probably 30 cents or something like that. So it's not the most expensive road to drive on. US cents, that is, not the euro or anything. It's three Norwegian Krona, if that makes more sense to you. Hello, Malik. Hello, Salam. Never. Hello. Oh, yeah, Rahmet. You was Jackson, ma? Good, 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 good. Yeah, Jackson.